Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com. Today we're taking a look at Star Wars and Angry Birds Edition. And let me be uh, quite honest with you guys, I'm not quite digging this Angry Birds. For some reason, it doesn't seem like Star Wars and Angry Birds uh, matches up that well. And I'll show you um, some of the gameplay here. Not saying it's a bad game at all, um, but it just doesn't seem like... Um, I don't know, maybe it's the, the level designs and the intros, but, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Alright, now they're going to show some scenes from the movie, kind of, more like their version. Tatooine. Alright, so I'm going to play the first level. <clears throat> now I'll say this about the Angry Birds. Like, the other ones I really like, like, just playing the first couple levels. Um, I don't know, I think the two IPs are, just don't go to, together that well for some reason. I know some people are probably going to get mad when I say that, but... You know, it's still Angry Birds, but the humor isn't there as much because it's mixed in with Star Wars. You know, like, when you win a level, I like it when the, uh, the, the way the birds make their sounds and when you lose, the pigs laugh at you. So I'm actually going to lose this level just to see what the pigs say. So you guys get an idea of the audio. See, it just doesn't seem like it has that Angry Birds um, humor there. So anyway, here's this lower. I mean, the level designs are still pretty, pretty good. Um, they're not horrible or anything like that, but... Kind of like mixing Warner Brothers cartoons with Star Wars or something like that. Like Bugs Bunny just does, wouldn't fit in the Star Wars universe, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so you get these little clips you can play through, like, kind of like going through the story of the first Star Wars a little bit. Alright. Now these are some type of dark beta birds, I think. I'm not sure what kind of these are. And they're kind of weird, these birds.
see if I can get this guy right over here. Oh, I screwed up right there. That pig looks like he might fall, and I actually got him right there. I think the game would probably... I need to just be quiet. I want to see if they can get shot. Uh, Alright. See, it's kind of like a force. I'm using the force to, like, Get some you know, force power on him. Yeah, I didn't get that one. So I didn't get the little piggy that's over there. You guys can see him right over there. And, um... Alright, so we'll try this again. These are some big birds, so they don't really have a lot of um, a distance to them, so you gotta really use them smartly. And there I got the other bird. Let's go, I guess. Alright, so now they're mixing up the Luke Skywalker bird and the, um, what do you call those little guys in the same vehicle? I think that's, that's who they are. Oh, I got them all with one, just one bird. That's actually pretty good. Come on, drop that stuff over. Come on, let try to go. And I didn't get the other pig right over there. So I'll try it again. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, so I think we get this one right here. Oh, I just missed him. Alright. Try to get this guy right over here. Alright, so now we gotta get that other bird right over here. Oh, I didn't get him. Alright, try it again. I'm gonna keep on playing this until I beat this one level.
And there I got him. Uh, let's try a few of these. Oh man, it's so small, it's hard to see. Alright, so. So then you just use your lightsaber to go through. Um, Alright, let me see if I can get these guys right over here. And I got him, I think. I, th I think I got them all. All right, so. What's my take on this Angry Birds? You know, the mechanics are still there. It still plays. You know, it seems a little bit easier than regular Angry Birds. Um, that might just be because, um, I, you know, this is my guess. I'm, I don't really know, but this is my guess. Maybe they're trying to open up the property to more people uh, by having Star Wars people play Angry Birds, so they're making the levels a little easier. Or maybe I'm just better at Angry Birds because I played it a lot. I played all the previous versions. What seems missing from this version of Angry Birds is the humor. Uh, when you lose, the pigs kind of insult you by going, ah, 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 ah. I can't really do the voice. But even when the birds win, they're like really happy. They're, bah, bah, bah. I can't really do it again. But there's that sense of humor and fun uh, between because, you know, the rivalry between the birds and the pigs. That seems missing from this Star Wars game. However, you know, when I'm playing it more and more, I'm kind of like getting a little bit into the Star Wars theme music. And it kind of, uh, you know, it's okay, but it doesn't feel like, you know, what Angry Birds is really known for. I think they should have left that humor in there, removed the Star Wars sound effects, but left in the Star Wars story. And I think this game would uh, would feel better when playing it. So once again, guys, this has been MP4Podcast.com. It's not a bad game. You know, I think it's worth $0.99 cents on the iPhone, iPhone, iPod Touch. On the iPad, it's worth uh, $2.99. It's not a bad game. I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Um, I think it could, probably could get to a 10 if they just tweak the sound, sound um, you know, like I talked about before. And uh, it could probably be a, a, ten, a 10 or a 9. So once again, this is mp4podcast.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Take care, everyone. Later, guys. Bye.